my amazing brothers and sisters, welcome and thank you for watching my weekly Oracle card reading for the week of November 2nd. My name is Cindy St. Martin and I am a certified angel healer and hol uh, holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit and soul and I'm so glad you're with me. Last night we celebrate All Hallows Eve and those who went trick-or-treating, I hope you had a good time or went to parties and it, well, you had a good time and you were safe. <laughs> That's most important. And today we have All Saints Day and tomorrow All Souls Day. And today in Mexico they, sell, uh, they celebrate uh, the, the dead. And so we have all these wonderful things and today is November 1st. We begin a new month. And we have daylight savings time happening tomorrow night. So all these wonderful, wonderful things are going on all together at this one time. Lots of celebration, a lot of happiness and joy. And as we move forward into the holiday season, seasons, you know, with our Thanksgiving and, of course, Christmas and a new year coming. So it's a time of happiness and joy. And don't let anything get you down, you know, because we're so blessed to have this all around us. And knowing that we live in, believe it or not, in a blessed way, always. So, I will select one card from three different decks. And then I'll, I'll uh, select a prayer card from Archangel Michael. We're having a lot, a lot of rain this morning here, uh, where I live, not too far from Philadelphia. And it's it's really, really raining. <laughs> and it's chilly. And it's cold. And I, I have a, a party to go to this afternoon. So I'm hoping the rain will stop a little bit. I do have some errands. So we'll see uh, how I deal with uh, the rain. I've been trying to, the art of walking in between the raindrops. But it has, I haven't gotten it yet to stay dry. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to start this reading with them. Uh, the angel, Archangel Power Cards, and we'll see what our first card for the week is. I was with my, my grandchildren last night and saw them all dressed up festively. Okay. Two cards came up. And you know what? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read both of them to you. Because they fell out. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to read both of them because I think they're they're important cards. The first one is the Knight of Ariel. And it says, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. And the next card is the Knight of Ariel. And it says, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So we have a lot of things we want to accomplish this week. And so um, we might be a little scatterbrained and overload. So yeah, you can sit down and make a detailed plan. What, what you expect, what you want, write it down. And, and, and help yourself. And knowing that you are uh, being watched over by someone kind. Now, this could mean in the divine realm, angelic realm, or it could mean someone in, in the earthly realm that's watching you. But your dreams will be fulfilled. Your hard work, you know, you make a detailed plan. Your hard work, you stay focused, will lead to great success. And, and when that all goes wonderfully, then, of course, you have a, a love for beautiful things in life. And of course, beautiful things are very simplistic. Okay. They're very simplistic. These are things that touch your heart. And we all know, especially with, with people, sometimes the most beautiful people, visual people, don't always have the most beautiful soul. And then, of course, there are great, beautiful people visually who do have a beautiful soul. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder what you see, what you treasure, and what we deserve. And the next set of cards I'm going to use are the romance cards. So we'll see what the romance angels have to say. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. The romance angels are telling us, let go of control issues. 
and it reads, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Sometimes we just want things to happen really quickly or right away or, or you know, especially if we've been waiting for a long time, you know, but just if you try to control things, then it's ego-based. And anything that's ego-based is uh, creates a karma that we really don't want. But everything is divine based on anything that's in tr of trust and surrendering. Let things go. It's all divine and things always works out perfectly the way we deserve. So let go. If there's a situation in your romantic life, you know, let go. Try to control things. Just chill back and be cool. You know, uh, when you know if you're around a person that wants to control things and they're they're crazy and they're hectic and they're, they're trying to boss people around and things like that, do you want to be around that person? Absolutely not. But when someone who's laid back and and just chill and really digging the scene that's going on and 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 just um, enjoying the moment, yeah, you want to be around that person. So be the person you want to be around. <laughs> and then you will create wonderful people, a karma, and you will draw those type of people. You know, if we want to control, we might draw people that want to control too. And two people wanting to control, oh, my goodness, that is a, a setup for disaster. <laughs> so we want to just relax and just let things unfold naturally. And the next set of cards are the uh, Angel Tarot cards, and we'll see what our third card for the week is. Okay, let me cut the deck. And the card is Two of Water. And it says, a relationship that continues to grow closer forgiveness a positive resolution to a conflict okay this goes good with the romantic card you know allow the situation unfold naturally and you will see that your relationship gets closer again being the person you want to be with and then there's a positive resolution you know sometimes we're so headstrong and want to control that we we know what's right they're wrong <laughs> That's totally ego. You know, we know what's right for us, but we can't say what's right for somebody else. So we want to just work around it and end any type of conflict. Now, this could be a romantic relationship. This could be a relationship with a friend or a family member, brother, sister, mother, father, uh, whatever, but a close relationship that's close to you. And this is wonderful. I, I did fail to express earlier, you know, that before I begin each reading and session, I call upon the universe and God, the archangels, angels, and descendant masters to be with me through my reading and because of law of attraction and my intention I can never pick a wrong card so these were divinely selected for us from the angels and I think it's a great reading and knowing that there's because we have so much going on like the first card so much we want to accomplish we can be controlling <laughs> So this all blends in with that too. So we want to just let go. Our dreams will be fulfilled. We're watched over by someone kind who wants to help us. And if we're so busy trying to control things, we don't see uh, the help that's been uh, given to us by the universe. So it's all work well. Chill out. Let things happen. No, you have to work hard and, and stay focused on these things on what serves your purpose and what your passions are okay so these are the Archangel Michael prayer cards and we'll see what our prayer is for the week okay <laughs> um, this card flipped out so I'm gonna use this one it says it's time to leave this unhealthy situation and the prayer reads, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. 
this is really really good especially with the control issues and and uh, getting so many things done and even in relationship things you know um, what parts in our lives that we really really need to focus on and what's important to us and controlling people is not not an important thing okay and there's a lot to be accomplished so sometimes we need that courage to make the healthy changes the healthy thing changes don't don't healthy being healthy it means being at peace mindfully spiritually physically and soulfully and once we're at peace with that then we're very 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 healthy so we need to really care love ourselves and really care what we feed our mind what we feed our body our spirit and our soul what words come out of our mouth okay so this is loving ourselves and this is how we become really really healthy this is part of being holistic okay holistic is natural healing and it begins with ourselves and our spirit and that's how we become powerful that's how our our spirit and our vibrations and our intuition lifts up really high and we can hear uh, things and know things and be powerful in that way in manifesting exactly what we want to create a wonderful karma and law of attraction by doing these wonderful things so I thank you all for being with me. You bless me more than you could ever think possible for watching and sharing my videos with others, sharing the message and encouragement. I invite you to visit my website at cindyshealing.com and there you can see all that I do. You can uh, send me a message and you can uh, join my contact list. You can also connect with me on social media sites, which I would appreciate um, you doing that. I also, if you want to have a session with me and be enlightened and learn how to deal with things and how to let things go and how to get rid of that ego and manifest all that you want, it's very simple on my homepage. You can select what you can afford to pay uh, for an hour session with me and it could be held uh, through Skype, in person or over the phone, it, whatever is easy and convenient for, for you. So, and, and I also invite you every Wednesday night, uh, join me for my live webcast. I, I, I come through, I stream through right through my website. Just click on the live chat link at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, um, right from my website. And you can get a free reading from me and ask me questions and share your wisdom and connect with like-minded people. It's a wonderful hour. Uh, to boost your spirits in the middle of the week just when I think we all need a little boosting to get through the rest of the week and it's a perfect time and I love sharing it with you so again thank you for being with me again you bless me always and in return you are likewise blessed I send you blessings love peace happiness and joy to you from me and kisses and I wish you all namaste Enjoy your week. Bye-bye.